Okay, everybody. Well, it's been a while since I made a video for you guys. Just been really busy, but um, now I can finally get to that. Since we're in heating season now, I'm sure some of you would like to see another um, startup of the Affernus. Uh, before I do that, I will say there are a couple of um, updates that I've um, done to it. Like, nothing really significant, just a couple of things, but I'll tell you. Obviously, um, changed the air filter, got new air filters for it. I replaced um, the uh, pad for the humidifier inside there. And I never really explained the humidifier to you guys that much. Now I actually know how it works, you know, maybe I can also do that. And here, I'll just give you a, here's one of the replacement boxes. The humidifier pad. Our model is the Honeywell HE100, so <clears throat> it fits this. And I like the way this new pad is designed because it feels more cushiony. <clears throat> you see this mess right here? Th this is all flaking off from the old pad that was in there. And this pad's made of a different material that doesn't do that. So that shouldn't do that, thankfully, which should be really nice. Um, so this is kind of similar. I think it's similar to the one that Spats and Harley has. Um, this is, um, it's called a bypass unit. The way it works is, um, you know, the water goes through this tube to the pad. Um, this is on the discharge duct. Um, it goes through here. The air gets humidified, goes back to the return duct, and then through the heat exchanger and back up again. It's kind of interesting how it works like that. As a matter of fact, I can show you the inside of it right there. You can see the little black tube. That's where the water goes. And there's some channels on the top of that black pla plastic piece. And it travels all down this thing. This white thing is the pad you see. And then, you know, humidifies the air as it goes through. And then all the, um, get this back on here. It's kind of picky. Hold on. Not quite. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry. There we go. Okay. Got that back on there. And then um, all the excess water drains through that tube there into the condensate pump. Now, um, our model of humidifier uses, um, uses cold water. I know um, Harley uh, said there's some benefits to using hot water, but as many of you know, um, the furnace and the, um, and the water heater are on opposite ends of the basement, so that wouldn't really work all that well because, you know, the water usage isn't that heavy, which is good on that, but that means it would take forever for the hot water to get here, so that's why we use cold water. But honestly, it does fine. It does the job. Um, one ad adjustment I did make to this furnace from last time is that I had talked about the um, the blower on and off delays. Now, I did some research. Um, the blower on delay is 23 seconds after burner ignition. And um, that's not adjustable, unfortunately. So I was like, all right, you know what? I'll just live with it. Because like I said, um, the air is only going to get warmer as it continues to operate. So it's not the worst thing. However, the blower off delay is, is adjustable, which is in the circuit board behind that bottom panel. Um, the, the initial factory setting is two minutes after the burner shuts off, but I changed that to two and a half minutes. So it gets a little bit more time to cool off the heat exchanger a little bit more and get a little bit more heat off of it, which is really good. The only side effect of that is, as you know, the zone dampers um, have what's called a purge cycle. Now, um, for those of you who aren't familiar with, the pur with, with what the purge cycle is, check out the video's the description below. That way I don't, you know, take up your time explaining the whole thing again. And, um... What happens is um, the purge cycle on the zone on the zone dampers is two minutes, and that's set. Uh, that, that's that's hard set. Can't be adjustable. So um, the uh, the side effect is that after um, with the extended uh, blower time, um, for the last thirty seconds of blower operation, it runs with both zone dampers open. But you know, given a lot of the heat has been removed from the heat exchanger by that point, and it's only thirty more seconds, you know, I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference going to both zones during the uh, off delay. So. As a matter of fact, um, the, the humidifier itself is actually tied into the damper board as well. The only time it actually runs is if the thermostat is calling um, for something. I'm going to assume it also works in AC mode, but we would never use it during that time. So basically, um, the thermostat has to be calling for something for the humidifier to operate. So if it's off or it's in purge, this, this won't operate. So basically, think of heat mode. Um, the, the humidifier is running, then as soon as the burner shuts off, the humidifier shuts off as well as the blower does its um, off um, cycle, you know, delay time, you know what I'm saying there. But in a way, I kind of like that because, you know, for the two and a half minutes that um, this, is, uh, this is not operating, but the blower is, it kind of helps dry it off and not encourage mold growth and things like that. So it works out pretty well. And uh, yeah, so there you go. So, all right, uh, enough of my babbling. Let's go ahead and get the furnace going for you.
So you probably can't hear it all too well, but the, uh, the, the main blower did come on, I think, like I said, about 23 seconds after burner ignition. So we'll have a look at it again. Nice blue flames. The inducer spins uh, counterclockwise. And there's the pressure switch, the exhaust, and the intake for when the cover's on. Yeah, those flames are a nice, uh, steady blue. What's actually really cool is, um, since this regulator was installed after the generator was put in, it actually hisses a little bit when both either this furnace or the furnace in the attic is running. Maybe you can hear it, let's see. I don't think it's too noticeable, but maybe you heard something, so. And yeah, damper board, if you remember. Um, calling for heat and going to zone one. You remember that whole deal. Yeah, this furnace uh, has a running grate, no problems. And you know, this is the, um, what you, this is the single stage model, which I like, just on and off, nice and simple. And um, the blower is um, two speed, for those of you who, who don't know. Um, it does low speed for heat mode and fan mode, and it does high speed for air conditioning. Yeah, those burners look fantastic. Nice and steady blue. Inducer sounds nice and quiet, so I'd say things are in good shape. And you know what, just to show, I'm not going to do a shutdown sequence this time, but let me see if I can show you the humidifier operating. We'll just go ahead and raise up the humidity level. 60 to high as it goes. Okay, maybe, maybe you just heard that click right there, and there's water going through the tube right now. And not much to show you around, but I mean, maybe you'll see water come down the tube pretty soon and go into the condensate pump. Yeah, it gives, it gives like, like a gentle hiss. Like, you know, because the, the water pressure in this house is really good. And, um, you know, it helps make some noise as it operates, so... And yeah, like I said, it doesn't use too much overall, so um, it takes a little bit of time for the water to get here, but eventually it does. I'll go back and look at the burners while I'm waiting for the water to come down. <laughs> now some of you love seeing stuff like that. Ah, right, here it goes. You can kind of see the water starting to flow down now. Yeah, see it? Yeah, kind of going down there now and down the tube. Oh, there you go. A little bit of better shot. Yeah, you can see the water flowing down. And then the condensate pump. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how it operates. So, like I said, um, once the once the thermostat is satisfied and the and the burner shuts off. Um, that's when this will shut off too at the same time. So that's how it operates. I'll put that back down to where it was. And then just shut off right there with a little click. All right, guys, that's basically it. So um, heating season is going well. Furnace is operating extremely well and doing just as it's supposed to. And the same one with same thing with the one in the attic. They're both operating perfectly, and it's good to have them going. And they're doing great. So. There's the furnace startup for uh, for this year, and I hope you enjoyed it, um, like I know many of you do. So as usual, thank you very much for watching, and take care.